Hello everyone, I am here with my corgi named Gatsby. A lot of you guys wanted me to ask Gatsby what his opinion was on certain celebrities. So far what we have found out is that he is not a fan of Nick Jonas, Shawn Mendes, or even Selena Gomez. Hey, so what do you think about uh, BTS? <laughs> How about Blackpink? No? You don't like either of them? Is it just you don't, you don't like K-pop? How about J-pop? Do you like Japanese pop? <laughs> okay, so let me get this straight. No BTS, no Blackpink, no K-pop. Gatsby, you gotta learn! Come! Huh. He's like, I don't wanna watch this show. I don't like them. Come on! He's like, no, I don't like this show. I don't like them. Gatsby, come on. You don't want to watch? He's like, I don't want to watch this. I don't like them. <laughs> come on, Gatsby. Okay, fine. I'll put something else on. <laughs> so he's like, yes, I like Billie Eilish. Gatsby doesn't mind Lil Nas, I'm guessing, yeah? You like it? Is it fun? <laughs> He's like, yeah, I like Lil Nas. I like Old Town Road. Yeah? How do you feel about Camila Cabello? Yeah, Camila Cabello? You like Zendaya? Yeah? How about Tom Holland? <laughs> He's like, no, I don't want to discuss it. You like Zendaya? But not Tom Holland? BTS? He's like, no. Why don't you like these people? You've never met them before. Everything means nothing if I can't have you. Uh-oh, he's gonna be a little bit surprised when he finds out who's singing. <laughs> oh no, it's Selena Gomez. So now we know a little bit more about who Gatsby likes and dislikes. In the comments below, let me know who else Gatsby should review. Let's start the vlog. Look at how beautiful. Good morning, Gatsby. He's like, hello, sir. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, Gatsby, I need help. Bring me the taco. The taco. No, not the donut. He's like, where? Where's the taco? It's right there. There's one right there. No, no, no. The taco. The taco. He's going to get more toys. No, we need the taco, Gatsby. We need the taco. <laughs> No, it's over here, Gatsby. The taco. The taco. This is not a taco, Gatsby. Give me the taco. Come on. Oh. This is not a taco. I need the taco, Gatsby. I'm dying. Oh. Thank you. Pull me out. Pull me out. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, I got out. Yes. We survived because of the taco, Gatsby. Thank you. Thank you, Gatsby. I got something special in the mail I'm super excited about. Ta-da! Mark three! It just came out today. I've been waiting for this camera for like three years now. This one is just really old. Ta-da! So a lot of people ask me, what is this? This is just a wind muffler. It looks about the same. This one says G7X and this one says it on the bottom. Hmm. Hmm. What's the difference? Can you tell? Gatsby, what's up? Which camera? One of them definitely looks different than the other. It looks like my original camera does look a little bit better. I'm not sure if that's because I haven't uh, adjusted the settings for the new camera, but when I look at them, the right one is the new camera, the left one is the old one, and the left one looks definitely a lot clearer. My rose level tip anemone split. Look, there's another one. So there's now four. The clownfish are taking such good care of the anemones that it's feeling so happy. One, two, three, four. But this one looks like it's about to split, so we might get a fifth one. Pretty soon this rock is gonna be all rose bubble tip anemones. 
There's a protein bar and a note. Hi, my name is Paxton and I am from Charleston, West Virginia and I love your videos. Got this from Elaine from Woodbury, Minnesota. Another one! Look at that, you got another one. He's like all happy about it too. Like yes, I like it. My donut toy. Even though I have so many more. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I have so many donuts. I gotta see them all. I do not like donut butt. So I got this in the last vlog. It is Samyang spicy fire chips. If the fire noodles was like a 10 spicy level, this is like a six. It's a little bit spicier than Flaming Hot Cheetos. Okay, it's time for me to head off to the gym. Today is a leg day. I hope I have the energy for that. See you there. Bye. Okay, I feel like I am going to pass out soon. <laughs> I'm definitely going to be limping for the next few days. Where is the corgi? Where did he go? <gasps> I think I see him. Today I thought I would show Gatsby how to wash some dishes. Okay, this is what you do. First off, Gatsby, we walk over to the sink like this. <laughs> okay? And then next, Gatsby, <laughs> you got to turn on the water. So you turn on the water like this. There. <laughs> okay, now that the water is on, then you make sure that it's the right temperature. Okay, you feel? Okay, it's great. <laughs> then we get our dirty plates, okay? So, so you pick up your dirty plate, like this. Okay. <laughs> then you, you put it under the water, like this. Okay. Put some soap on, like that. Okay. Then you just wash, like this. <laughs> You wash that dish, Gatsby. There you go. You washed it. Then you stick it under the water. Rinse it off. Make sure to do both sides. Okay. You take the dish and you put it on the drying rack right there. Hooray! I think when I first got it, it had like six of these circular leaves. And as you can see here, there's quite a few now. Should we go for a walk? He's like, we shall. Are you looking at all the candies in the back? In the back room? <laughs> Just because a corgi doesn't mean a real corgi and if a corgi, 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 corgi. Right now I'm at the supermarket. We're gonna buy some stuff for dinner. So I'm looking to make a clam pasta today. I saw it on Jimmy Kimmel. It looks pretty good. Okay, let's find the clams. Top sea clams. And clam juice. Let's get a good pasta now. Linguini. Italian parsley right here. Garlic. Okay, we got the ingredients. Now let's head back home. Alexa, turn on the lights. We've got to enjoy that sunset. Somebody's like, oh my gosh, what's going on? So a lot of people are asking what is like the best dog food. Um, the best dog food is from Canada or New Zealand. Both of those places um, have incredibly stringent practices and uh, their standards for dog food is very, very high. I used to use like a Canna and Origin dog food, which were originally from Canada. However, they changed and they opened up branches in the United States and the standards in the United States aren't as high. So we switched to um, Green Tripe Dry, which is from Canada. Fish oil, where's corgis? Hey. Bon appetit! And for my dinner, we're gonna be making some linguine with clams. I saw this on Jimmy Kimmel, it looked 
super good. It seems very, very simple. We're gonna boil some water for the linguini. I got these two different kinds of clams to try out. We have our linguini from Italia, Italian parsley and some garlic. And we'll do some cloves of garlic. When you do this, make sure you aim the blade not up, but down. What you want to do is you want to heat the pan. If you do a hot pan with cold oil on it, then the food won't stick. I thought that you just uh, heat the oil with it, but apparently not. We have some extra clam juice over here. Oh, these clams look different. Salt the water. Linguini. We're just going to add our olive oil, he said. You want to add kind of a lot. Make sure that the pan is hot, olive oil is cold, so the food won't stick. What Jimmy Kimmel says to do is you basically turn the pan, all of the oil gets infused with the garlic. Ooh, let's add some red pepper flakes. And then we're gonna add Italian parsley, pinch of oregano. That garlic smells so good. <laughs> now that this is ready, we're gonna add our clam juice. Gatsby, sorry, this is not for you. Pasta should almost be done. The clams, you're not really cooking it. You're just reheating it. We're just gonna take the pasta, place it in. And that helps transfer some of the pasta water inside. Grab some, place it on a plate. Ta-da! Clam linguine pasta. That was super easy and simple. Let's see if it's any good. Mmm. It's super nice and garlicky. I like the crushed red pepper. It does make it a little bit spicy. The flavors are nice and subtle. It's not like super strong, saucy um, pasta. Mmm. It took like 10 minutes to make. <laughs> the longest part was boiling the water. Are you gonna eat all of that yourself? Tastes like it's infused with garlic. Oh. Before we go to bed, Gatsby and I wanted to thank these awesome fans right over here. They're all supporting Gatsby and me with their Corgi on Fleek merchandise. Thank you so much, you guys. And make sure if you guys want to get your Corgi on Fleek merchandise, go to corgionfleek.com. Okay, we're gonna head to bed. We'll see you guys later. Good night. He really likes these. These are chicken breast. Every time you leave it, I'm gonna add a new one.